Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Fiza Ahmed. I am student of BTS first year. So today my topic is the trigeminal nerve which is the fifth cranial nerve and uh, there are total three branches of uh, the trigeminal nerve, uh, ophthalmic nerve, maxillary nerve and the mandibular nerve. The first two nerve of uh, uh, this uh, trigeminal nerve are sensory in nature and the uh, mandibular nerve is a mixed nerve. Now I will explain the course of the uh, trigeminal nerve. Here is the uh, brain stem and uh, these are three parts of the brain stem. The uh, midbrain, then the pons and uh, the third one is the medulla oblongata. Uh, there are two roots of the uh, trigeminal nerve. The first is the um, sensory root, uh, which move forward and uh, give rise to the ganglion known as the trigeminal ganglion. Uh, trigeminal ganglion is uh, basically a collection of the uh, nerve cell bodies and uh, it lies outside the CNS and uh, from the trigeminal ganglion uh, there is the origin of the three axons which uh, will form the three nerves namely the ophthalmic nerve the maxillary nerve and the mandibular nerve of the trigeminal nerve and the second root of the trigeminal nerve which arises from the pons is the motor root which accompany the sensory root of the mandibular nerve so that's why the mandibular nerve is the mixed nerve and uh, through the uh, foramen ovale it uh, leaves the skull in this video i will uh, tell about the course and the distribution of the um, maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve as uh, I have explained uh, the ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve in my previous video. So as the uh, maxillary nerve moves forward, it uh, enters the middle cranial fossa and within the middle cranial fossa is the presence of the cavernous sinus and uh, the maxillary nerve will enter the uh, lateral wall of the cavernous sinus and uh, after leaving the cavernous sinus it will enter the uh, foramen known as the foramen rotundum through which it will uh, leave the skull and uh, enter the inferior orbital fissure inferior orbital fissure is basically the same as the superior orbital fissure uh, the main difference is that it is uh, present in the inferior side of the orbital cavity and the canal of the inferior orbital fissure is known as the inferior orbital canal and uh, uh, through the inferior orbital fissure the maxillary nerve will enter the inferior orbital canal and uh, after leaving the inferior orbital canal it will give its uh, different branches uh, here is the presence of the ganglion known as the pterygopalatine ganglion between the um, foramen rotundum and the inferior orbital fissure on the maxillary nerve. Uh, as the maxillary nerve enters the uh, inferior orbital canal, it becomes the inferior orbital nerve. Basically, the inferior orbital nerve is uh, uh, same as the maxillary nerve. Uh, it is just a continuation of the uh, maxillary nerve. And there are three important nerves uh, division uh, or the branches of the maxillary nerve uh, which are the uh, which are given to the uh, palate and the teeth just inferior to the uh, inferior orbital canal is the uh, presence of the uh, palate 
and uh, the first nerve which uh, arises from the maxillary nerve uh, is between the foramen rotundum and the pterygopalatine ganglion and uh, this is the main branch and the direct branch of the maxillary nerve and the two other branches arise from inferior orbital nerve and uh, they also innervate the uh, middle and the anterior part of the palate and uh, given a name as posterior superior alveolar nerve the middle superior alveolar nerve and the anterior superior alveolar nerve and the direct branch of the maxillary nerve is only the posterior superior alveolar nerve so here we are done with the um, course and the branches of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve thank you